Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. In this video, I'm going to show you how to activate the fan on the Raja Rock 5A. So, in my unboxing video, I already put the heatsink and the fan on the Raja Rock 5A, but it didn't seem to work. But it turns out that you need to follow a procedure. So I'll put the link in the description of the video. And they will tell you how to uh, attach it to the CPU. And the red wire goes towards the outside and the black wire goes towards the inside. So by default, uh, the fan is off. So you can start the R setup. Whoops. Hold on. I think that's just a bit. Okay, so here we go are set up and you need to run it with elevated writes so you go to hardware and then thermal governor and by default it's power allocator uh, but that means that uh, this particular fan isn't working. Uh, I've chosen user space, um, but the downside with user space is that you need to follow a procedure to turn it on every time you reboot. So you can also go with stepwise. I haven't really tested stepwise, but stepwise um, it should be controlled by the temperature. So as soon as it hit a certain temperature, then it should turn on. But in this case, um, we're going with user space. Okay, so then we're back in the menu and then you can escape, escape, and then we're back. Um, so I think with the yeah, with the black background, you can see better that the fan isn't spinning yet. So let's see. Just follow the procedure. So as I've chosen user space, then you need to find the device number. And that's a little bit tricky because I noticed that with every reboot uh, it can be assigned a different de device number. So here you see that it is the last one and so let's see I don't know if it counts from zero one two three four so that should be four I guess so if we say number four, oops, oh, that was the wrong one, oh, four, and then it says PWM fan. So as I said, you count from zero, one, two, three, and in this case, four. So I don't know if you have to do this for the first time, but let's just follow the procedure for now. Oops. So as we are working with device four, we need to replace it for 
So when we execute this command, also with elevated rights, then I hope you can see that it is actually spinning. So you can see now I'm putting my finger on it so it doesn't spin anymore and then I hope you can see that it is spinning. Now we can also um, see how many states it has. So then we also need to go to device 4 and then it says it has four states and they say that uh, state zero is off and that you can also choose one of the other states Well, I guess it's a bit hard to see the difference in speed. So yeah, I guess this is something that you can just try out yourself and also perhaps with a, a temperature monitor to see if it has any effect. Um, what I did notice was that they say zero is off. So then speed one, uh, well, in my case, I hope you can see that the fan is also off with speed 1. So if we go with speed 2, I hope you can see that now it's spinning again. And let's see, it says four states, so let's see if it also accepts four. And it also accepts four. Um, yeah, you might wonder why I choose manual. Um, because I also have the wireless card and that one also gets quite warm. So I prefer to have the fan spinning all the time. And since it is well very quiet in my opinion then i want to have as much airflow uh, inside so that hopefully it also cools a little bit uh, that the wireless card also gets a little bit of cooling because there is some airflow so i hope that anyone that was a bit wondering if you could get the fan working. Um, well, you can see the procedure to do this. Uh, you don't have to choose manual. You can also go for temperature controlled. Uh, but in general, um, yeah, if you avoid hitting like maximum temperatures, then usually your CPU and other electronics, they usually uh, will last a little longer so I hope this will help you to enjoy your Raja Rock 5a for as long as possible so that's all for now and I hope to see you again in my next video